awesome. Let's read this together. Lendy wrote a letter for me, Sam. She used a rectangular paper. Yes, rectangular is important. And the unit's 40 centimeters long, 20 centimeters wide. She cut the paper in, in half. Now the question. What is the area of each half? So we need to figure out the area of each one of the halves. What do we do next? Draw a model. Let's draw a model. Since it's a rectangular paper, we're going to draw a rectangle. And let's label the dimensions. 40 centimeters long and 20 uh oh, 20 centimeters wide. Now, what is the formula for area? The area of a rectangle is length times width. Do we have the length? Yes, we do. It's 40 times width. Is this what they're looking for? No, they're looking for half, so we need to cut this in half and then we will get the answer. So whatever answer we have here, we will need to divide by, by what? Very good, divide by two. So let's do that. 40 times 20. 40 is the length times 20 is the width, zero times zero, zero, zero times four, zero. You know that any number multiplied by zero is zero. And this is 40 times zero. Step two, you're gonna drop a zero. Man, so many zeros. And now we're gonna multiply 40 times two. But in reality, we're multiplying 40 times 20. So two times zero, zero, two times four, eight. Now we're gonna add these numbers up. Zero plus zero, zero, zero plus zero, zero, and eight. So the answer is 800 square centimeters. This is the area because we did length times width. Is this the final answer? No, because we need to divide by two. So 800 divided by two. I know that two times four is eight. Eight, eight minus eight, zero. Subtract and drop, drop the zero. Two times zero is zero. Subtract and drop. Two times zero again is zero, subtract, and we don't have anything else to drop. So this is our final answer. 400 square centimeters, I put com cm, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Cm is half area. Let's look for this answer in our options. A, 400 square centimeters. <gasps> It looks like this is our answer because 400 and 400. Do we choose this one? That might be it, but I have to check all the other answers because that's a cool thing to do. So let's mark this one as a probably. B, 800 square centimeters. What is this? Oh, I see an 800 here. So this is the total area. Is this the correct answer? No. What about C? 120. Well, I don't see that number, but looking at this, most likely that did 40 plus 20, that's 60 plus 40, 100 plus 20. So this is the answer for perimeter. Are we looking for the perimeter? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That's not the right answer. Keep going. We will definitely keep going. And what about this 100? Well, I don't see a 100 here, but uh, I don't think this is the correct answer because 
if the total area is 800, half of it is definitely not 100. So what do we do? You're flying away from the right answer. That's not it. So let's cross this out. And as we thought before, this is the right answer. 400 square centimeters. Why square centimeters? Because it's the area inside of a shape. to Melanie D. Thank you for your daily hugs. Bye-bye. Remember to like, subscribe, leave your comments, and share this video with other kids that are learning math. See you next time. Make sure you also check these other cool math videos where you can learn a lot of math and be